Step one. This is the pinning and cutting stage. So you want to measure and cut out of your template the size you want. If you're making for yourself, you might want to do a small, but I did it for my father, so I did a large. Next, you want to take your cloth or pillowcase and pin it. Since I've already done that, get those extra pins out of here. Thanks. Now, I chose this pillowcase because it's good because it's already doubled. You want to cut out two of them so that, so that you have four because they're doubled. Now that you've pinned your thing, you want to make sure you cut it out. Let's get to doing that, and I'll see you in a second. And we're done. So don't worry, when you're cutting, don't stress. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure you have two double-sided ones that you can easily use. Four squares, to be exact. Let's get on to the next stage. Next step, you're going to remove the top paper layer from the two pieces of cloth, and then you're going to pin the curve where they meet up at the top of the edge, pin them together. This is a very important step, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Now, you're going to go move down to your sewing machine or wherever you're hand stitching and get ready to sew. Now that you've sewn them, it does not need to look perfect, but you're going to turn both of them outward like this, and you're going to make sure that you sew the seams together so that the flabby parts here are facing out. You're going to pin the top and the bottom, but not the sides. Do not pin the sides, only the top and the bottom. Now that you're done sewing, I did not sew the sides, right? Good. Now you're going to turn it inside out so that the seams are on the inside of the mask. This is important because now it's more comfortable and better to breathe. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the rubber bands on the side of each of them and we're going to sew. It's very important that you put the rubber bands in a specific way. The point at the top is where your nose will be. So make sure you put the rubber bands closer to the top than the lower. We're going to want to fold over the sides that you're going to be sewing and put the rubber band inside. Then, like the other side, you're going to pin around it so that this is enclosed where the rubber band is in the middle. Then you're just going to sew over it, and I would say sew over it twice so the rubber band holds in place. And we're gonna show you a sewing now. And we're done sewing. It doesn't have to be perfect. Sometimes the pins can get in the way and there can be weird triangles of stitching, but that's okay. Now is the fun part. Now that you've sewed everything and the bands are attached, it's your time to design. Color it however you want. Show off your personality, your spirit, and your hope for when quarantine will be over. Do whatever you want, it's up to you. Thanks for watching and continue to stay on the Darian's webpage for more info and tips and tricks to stay healthy and happy during this time. I hope you all enjoy. Stay safe. Bye. And this is the finished product. Stay safe.